Hi Guido Fox here. Welcome by a new book report. Today I want to talk with you about this wonderful book from Orsho, Holy Orsho, one of the highest spiritual guys who ever existed in this beautiful world. So you can learn a lot about this guy Orsho and this book is about 140 pages and it's called The Seekers of the Pot. The Seekers of the Pot. Amazing title because so much people, I think 1990,90% of the people are not searching for the true are not seekers in life. They only do their job, they have their income, they can pay their holiday, they run their families, they taking care of society problems. But there are so less people who seek who seek for enlightenment, who seek for ecstaticness, who seek for the ecstaticness in themselves. To share it, to share it to your surroundings. So seekers are not anymore from this time. Seekers were from the past and I hope that they coming back in the future, that people will seek again, that they going into two hours meditation per day, that they going into contemplation, holiday. Where are the seekers these days? who are not going into drugs, alcohol, all those so-called entertainment, what is not fulfilling for you. So seekers, where are seekers of enlightenment? They are not there anymore. So I have to do the job, I have to do the work, right, to seek to seek to search for enlightenment and to go further with this beautiful path. First, page 37, man is unconsciousness. Man is unconsciousness. If I see people in the streets, if I see them, if I see the behavioral patterns, Man is unconsciousness, man is in dust, man is in mental trouble. Listen carefully to my words. Human mankind is in mental trouble. We are sick. We are not so mental health as we thinking we are. And we going to Western psychologists with Western methods, what is not working for the long term with your mental health. The only solution to become more happiness and more stable and more grounded is chakra activations. They are pure and pure natural. No medicines, no tricks with methods. Just chakra activations are the future, are the future for mental health, are the future for humankind and Buddha and Jesus were 2000 years ago already further and further than the crowd 
and Osho. So we're living in a mental trouble world. People are mad. People are really, really mad. And then people are complaining, I want to have freedom. And this is a so interesting analyzing what Osho is making here on page 36 and 37. First of all, Become more meditative, knowing more about spirituality. Then you become more mental free. And if you become more mental free, then you can maybe grab your freedom more and more in the physical world. But we are not ready as humankind. We are still unconsciousness. So we are shouting as little, little children in the playing ground for freedom, but we cannot handle the responsibility. No way. If there is no police tomorrow and the day after and maybe the day after the hell breaks out. We are not ready for freedom. And this is a hard lesson. Therefore, all the governments has to implement all those control mechanisms like police, state, court, teachers maybe, to control you because you are unmeditative. So you are unmeditative, so you are still a little child. So mentally, we are not so far as human beings. But of course, if you're following me, then it will be difficult, different, right? Then you become growing up. And that has nothing to do with age growing up. That has to do with consciousness. How high is your consciousness? And how higher your consciousness is, how more freedom you can experience in your life, and how more responsibility you can drag on your shoulders. So here the link between freedom and responsibility, right? This was a topic about man is unconsciousness. We're living under control mechanisms, but that is our karma because we are not ready. We are not ready maybe for spirituality. Maybe I am too early. A Buddha and Jesus, a Mahavira and Osho, maybe they are too early. Only very curious and courage people, curious and courage people, are going into spirituality and intelligence people. You have to be very curious and courage because you get a big and big 
a big mirror in your life when you go into spirituality and you change your energy will change your ecstaticness will rising up inside you will be a light and people cannot handle that maybe they want to drag you down because you are the light and they are the dark so you have to be very brave if you want to do it want to follow the path of the seeker in this soul life or you have to wait and to wait and to wait to wait to your next soul life and your next soul life and your next soul life and so about the opening of the Sahasrar the opening and the holding of the Sasrar, one of the seven centers in your body. It's very, very difficult to hold the Sasrar, hold the crown chakra day in, day out, day in, day out, hold that ecstatic chakra in your energetic system and then you will be a higher being you're out of the crowd the crowd moves nowhere you are out out of society out of crowd you are in totally other being if you feel your crown chakra arising your crown chakra next to the six other ecstatic chakras in yourself you will be different and your surroundings probably doesn't like it They are okay if you becoming an alcoholist or drugs addicted person because they can control you. They feeling better than you. People love to feel better than the rest. People love to carry for another person because then they feel so good because the other is down and you are up for your feeling of course not in the real reality page 86 the ego needs fantasy. The ego needs future. And I say sometimes to my clients, yeah, work with the spiritual ego. Oh yeah, this ego. I know what ego is. He has a big ego. I make a two and a half hour seminar about the ego. It's very, very complex to understand your ego mind identifications. That's the deepest, deepest spirituality psychology on earth. To dissolve your ego, 
that take some time, let's say three, four, five years. The ego, one of the thousand aspects of the ego is that it wants to be in the future. It wants to be already there and not here. It wants to be far, far away and fly into fantasy. You are in your fantasy world. You are escaping from your horrible reality to your future fantasy world. And I want to change that ugly, dusty reality where you are in and not your future fantasy world. Page 110 I want that you become creative and creative person in your life. Society is making you robots. Society makes you cold, rigged persons. 60 hours machines. I want that you become creative. And I use here the antidotes. You see all the guys who are going into violence and murderings are, uh, are dissatisfied or have no sex. So no sex or horrible sex leads to violence. And what you see is that if you have a wonderful sexual life, that you become more creative. You become more spiritual evolve. You become more warm person. So sexuality is important in life and also creativity. And this is a very interesting analysis Osho was making is that Hitler, the biggest murderer on earth, kills millions of millions of Jews, innocent Jews, people. He was rejected by a painter's school. So Hitler was not able to transfer his energy into creativeness. And it turns around into destruction. So you can learn from these two stories about violent guys and you have a lot a lot of sexual, frustrated, violent guys in society, especially in Western society. They are turn their behavior into destruction. So if your sexuality need not can stream enough and under sexuality is of course social skills if you have not the social skills or by women the power and the mood to give you over 
then destruction will be on you. A lot of women have not, not the power to escape from self-slavery, group slavery, to be not sexual open or be lovable if the opportunity is there. Then you see also destructions there mentally. So also women can go into mental destruction if the sexual stream and the creativity stream and the social stream is not going well. So sexuality, creativeness is very important. So for people who are very unhappy, I look mostly to the job what you're doing. Is there a creativeness there? Is it creative enough for you? Because we are creative persons. We want to build something. We want to make something. And we are not robots. So don't be that so-called religious person who is following the rules all the time. The lists. The list of your holy books. Be a little bit more creative. And not so rigid. And rational. In your life. And if you are full. If you are ecstatic full. Then you have so much to lose. You have to lose your freedom. You have to lose your love shining energy. So here also the antidote. So much people have a worthless life. They are so miserable that they have nothing to lose. And if they have nothing to lose, they take the risk, risk for criminality, violence behavior, abusement, because they have nothing to lose. But if you're a fool, if you're full with the higher spiritual love, you have so much to lose that you're very careful about yourself, about your time, what you are doing, about with who you go, where your energy is going. You become also more critical with your time management become more efficient because you have so much to lose your power is so incredible strong that you want to share it efficiently share it so don't lose time in stupid things I was dr driving with the train and I see all those graffiti are you serious you're going out of the night of your bed and you make a graffiti by the train somewhere in a tunnel I mean I like that you're creative that you're creative, that you want to paint something, but do it then in a gallery or make a beautiful painting and place it on social media or something, right? But take care. Take care of what you're doing. 
with your wonderful time with the time what is given to you in this life that's very important i think thank you for watching this book report and i see you by the next one bye bye